Hi, I'm Mark Packloffer with the Bentley Technical Support Group. In this video, I'm going to talk about the active topology alternative. If you've ever used multiple model files to keep track of different topology, this feature can really be helpful by allowing you to work with only one model file. The first step toward creating a new active topology study is to create a new active topology scenario. We do that by right-clicking the base scenario, choosing New Child Scenario. I'm going to name this scenario New Branch. The next step is to create a new active topology alternative. We're going to do that the same way by going into the alternatives, clicking New Child Alternative, and we're also going to name this New Branch. Next, we assign that active topology alternative to the new active topology scenario. After that, we make the new active topology scenario the active scenario. Now we can lay out the new branch. When I'm done, I'm going to right click and choose done to complete the drawing. Now, as I toggle back and forth between the scenarios, you can see where the new branch is visible in the new branch scenario and is non-existent in the base scenario. In this next part of the video, I'm going to show how you would add a manhole into the middle of conduit CO2 using the active topology alternative with a new scenario. Most people think you just place a manhole in between conduit CO2 to split the conduit, but you'll notice when you toggle back and forth between the base scenario and new branch scenario that the base scenario has two conduits that are split with no node in the middle. This makes the network unusable. Now I'm going to undo all the changes that I made and go about the right way of doing this. What we're going to do is right click and create a new child scenario. And I'm going to call that child scenario manhole on conduit. Now we're going to create a new child active topology alternative off the new branch alternative. And we're going to give that the same name. Then, just like last time, we're going to assign that new active topology alternative to the new scenario. Now make the new scenario the current or active scenario. And we're going to use the active topology toolbar to select CO2 and click the check green check button, which is going to make that conduit inactive in this scenario. And we're going to lay out a new conduit with a manhole in the middle. Right click and done. Now, when we toggle back and forth between the scenarios, you'll see we have one conduit in one scenario and two separate conduits in the new manhole on conduit scenario. 